Alright, this is JD and we are back once again with Craig. You just finished up in the Lamborghini and now we're going to get you rolling in the Ferrari 488 GTB. We have five laps in this one, correct? That is correct. Alright, alright. Um, just like I mentioned, you know, coming into this car after I already have driven, um, it's a lot of the same general procedures, simply meaning mirrors are still for me. Passing remains the same on track. And the paddle shifters are in the same location, same concept. However, because this car has twin turbos, we gain and lose RPMs a little quicker. So we're just using up a little bit more of the gear range. We're more along the lines of fourth, fifth, and sixth. So we might shift just a little more in this car. The other difference too between these two cars is this is just rear wheel drive as opposed to all wheel drive. Right. Um, you do have a bit more power, um, very light throttle, so just nice and progressive as you squeeze onto that throttle. Uh, again, it's going to be a little bit more tail happy just with getting all of the power to the rear tires. I also mentioned the brakes are a little softer, so you may need to be just a bit more firm, a little bit more assertive on the brake in this car just to get the car slowed down efficiently. But just like you were doing before, as you go to turn in, just a gentle release off those brakes. Other than that, very sensitive steering. It turns in very quickly, just a little goes a long way. So just very progressive, very smooth on those applications there as well. But with all that in mind, just get a good feel for it and we'll get you rolling. You ready to rock? I think so. Perfect. Go ahead and press down on the brake, click the right paddle towards you once. With this car, just give it a little bit of throttle to go over the stop, over the rest that the car is on. And we're gonna work our way out and around to the left here. And just like before, we're gonna go up next to the blue cones. Pull right alongside here. And track is clear. So just nice and smooth as you roll on track. We'll go ahead and upshift once. Upshift once more. And once again, we're just gonna cut straight through to the green turn-in cone in front of us. And this will lead us on to the main straightaway around to the right, looking up to the end of the main straight and just a progressive application on throttle down the main straightaway. Up the gear, again, once more. And brake firm, feel them out, we'll downshift once, good. Ease off your brakes towards your apex and looking up to the end of the short shoot, rolling back on throttle, unwinding left. Again, we're gonna brake firm, down a gear, more brakes so that when you turn in, you can release your brakes here. About mid track, then working your way back right over the rise. Very good, just lift, no throttle until apex, and then you can squeeze back on throttle here, pulling the car back left. Bit of brake straight, and we're gonna keep turning into apex. Good. Rolling on throttle as you pull the car back right here, all the way right. You just wanna lift to turn in, and then just a bit of throttle through. Braking straight turning in tight towards your apex. So as you build up speed, use a little more brake pressure. Right now we're a little soft. Go ahead and get on it. This time through, initial brake harder, harder. Now you can ease off those brakes to apex. And then gradually roll back on throttle here. Get an upshift. Brake hard, harder, downshift. Now ease off brakes and carry your momentum, perfect. About half throttle through here, working your way over. Just lift and rotate to apex. Eyes up through the corner, just a hair wide. Careful with the edge of the racetrack, you don't need to be that wide through there. Tidy towards your apex. And then gradually rolling back on throttle here, going squeeze back into it, back right, up shift, gear low. Just lift and rotate, inside stripes, half throttle through. Very good, light brake, and then release brakes here. Just a hair early on turn in. If you're a little wider, it'll give you a bit more rolling speed. All good, go for it. Up. In. Brake hard. Down a gear. Start turning in. Keep rotating the car to apex here. Once we get flashers, we'll get back on throttle. Pass right. All good, go for it. Full. Up shift. Keep inside. Brake straight. Brake hard. You're on a tighter line. Tighter through, all good. Back over to the right hand side. Just lifting, tiny. Go about mid track, rolling off the throttle here. Keep on it. Bit of brake. You did come off those brakes. We'll close in. Bit of throttle through here, but roll into it. Upshift. 
just gonna stick behind him here through the chicane. We should get flashers, keep a little bit of throttle though, maintain that speed, and close in just a little bit and pass right. Just keep it tidy here, and go ahead and get back on it all set. Sorry about the traffic, all good. Nice and relaxed, keep it up. Hard brakes, stay nice and wide on turn in, and then come off those brakes to apex, get right down to it, good. Then roll back on throttle here. Wanna go up a gear. Hard brake, back down, good, ease off brakes. Good entry speed, just stay mid-track and back over, good. Get all the way over the crest first, and then turn in. Tidy, tidy, and then squeeze into it. Good. That's the line. Perfect. Very well. Braking. Little early here. We're looking a little low, so it's going to push you a little wide. Go ahead and roll back on throttle back right. Just going to lift, rotate through. A little bit of throttle. Turn in a little later here. Just light brake straight. Now turn in. Good. And that'll let you get the car straighter off the corner. A bit more throttle to go with it. Good. off your brakes good keep turning in we'll get up to the end of the short shoot and go ahead and roll back on throttle good go for it up. hard brake good down a gear come off those brakes looking good through here last time through working your way over just lift tidy turn in tidy and then roll back on throttle all good righty that was five so we're gonna duck back in through the blue cones here follow this in and it'll lead to a tight left quite a bit different in comparison to that performance huh very what do we think um so Straight i'm not sure in. if it's because the first the performance was the first one but i definitely liked it better um yeah it probably doesn't... a lot of me but i felt like this was much sloppier which i'm sure is me but... all the way up front and then we'll head down this first row and it helps to have laps under your belt already yeah, before sure. you get into the next car as well so you know the more laps you get the more comfortable you are with the track we'll go this stall right here on the right three yeah yeah you got it very good and we'll straighten it out and just pull forward about a foot here or so good and pull back both paddles for neutral and you can go ahead and come off those brakes. Car's not gonna roll. Are we driving anything else? Yeah, the uh, GT3 RS. GT3 RS next, perfect. So that's gonna be, um, it's, it's definitely one of our best track cars. The car is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's gonna feel a little bit more rigid than this okay. car. This ride's a little soft. Uh, that car still has a lot of front grip, turns in right. very quickly. The brakes give you a little bit better feel. They're not so spongy, but just like you did in this one, just getting comfortable with it and each lap getting quicker and quicker. You're driving smooth. It's all looking good. Uh, just a couple of those areas that we were talking about on yeah. track, just try using a little bit wider turn in, especially in the RS, and that'll help you carry a little more momentum through. Awesome. Thanks for coming out, my man. I'll go ahead and get you back a video here. No rush on that Porsche, but when you're ready, we'll get you going, okay? Sounds good.